Nook Mile tickets are one of the most coveted currencies in the New Horizons economy. Because these tickets are so much more difficult to come across than bells, they're worth a lot to people in the community. Nook Mile tickets are required for villager hunting, as well as trading for other villagers on online sites like Nookazon. Racking up Nook Miles can take a crazy amount of time. But what probably takes longer is sitting in front of the Nook Stop, printing out tickets to take with you on a hunt that hopefully doesn't last forever. Why waste time printing and spending thousands of tickets finding a villager if you can spend a couple hundred to get one in boxes on Nookazon? Because it's fun, duh! So how do you get these Nook Mile tickets? What's the best way to rack them up? Are they good for anything other than trading and villager hunting? Nook Mile tickets are a big ol' pain to collect. It takes forever to legitimately build up Nook Miles, especially if you've already used up the big boosts of miles you can get from the long-term goals. These beginning milestones are pretty easy to reach, so if you've just started playing or haven't really been paying attention to your Nook Mile goals, go and look at them. There's probably a couple you can complete pretty quickly whether you're super close to a new achievement or you've just been ignoring one altogether. Next, do your Nook Miles Plus goals. Most of these are pretty easy to complete, whether it's hitting a rock five times or talking to three of your neighbors. You'll get a nice chunk of miles quickly. The more you do them, the more they add up. You'll have a few thousand miles in no time. Not to mention, doing these will get you to just play the game more. People are always wondering what they can do if they ever get bored in New Horizons. Well, if you like villager hunting, then play the crap out of the game and grind those Nook Mile Plus goals. These are always my go-to task. They actually get me to enjoy gameplay mechanics like fishing and bug catching again. Even if my quest is to find a horse mackerel. On top of the bass, I have been completely sick of these things for years. But now I'm excited to find one and get those Nook Miles. Not to mention, I can make my way over to Timmy and Tommy and sell the items from completing the Nook Miles goals and keep pushing towards my stupid goal of saving up 100 million bells. Then, after you get all those Nook Miles, you have to stand in front of the Nook Stop and print tickets, one at a time. Or, you can head over to Nookazon. Maybe you have a recipe someone wants, or you've got a popular villager in boxes on your island. You can trade some of the cool items you have that other players need and get some Nook Mile tickets for your items. Definitely a lot faster than getting the tickets yourself. Just make sure you're checking the reviews of the person you're trading with. There are even people listing Nook Mile tickets for various items. This person will give you 390 Nook Mile tickets if you want to get rid of your lightly gifted Raymond. Get him off your island and replace him with someone better, come on. This one is straight up selling Nook Mile tickets for 2 million bells. If you've been playing the game since launch, this is probably pretty doable for you. This person will take 100 regular wood for 50 Nook Mile tickets. Such a deal! Especially if you have a ton of resources in your storage, like most of us do if you've clocked in a few dozen hours on this game. This offer list refreshes pretty frequently. It shouldn't take too long to find someone who's asking for an item that you might happen to have a surplus of or something you can get to the other player relatively quickly. This isn't the absolute quickest way to get tickets, but it is way faster than trying to rack up Nook Miles yourself. There is one place that you can go that can net you a ton of tickets super fast. It's not legitimate most of the time, but you can get a ton of tickets for free. I'm talking about Treasure Islands. These things are a lifesaver. Treasure Islands are made by amazing people who have a ton of extra stuff to give away because they've been playing for a full year and a half. That's totally where all these items come from, 100%. Treasure items are a good place to go to fill out your catalog or maybe get a color variation of a specific furniture item that you might be looking for. Or if you didn't get your hands on some Sanrio amiibo cards, most have the new furniture items ready for you to pick up and take with you. On top of loading up with Nook Mile tickets, it's also a nice place to stock up on seasonal resources. Things like cherry blossom petals and snowflakes can be found in abundance at one of these islands all year round. Please never pay real money for Animal Crossing items. Those people are just ripping you off. Don't let the scalpers win. If you've been playing New Horizons for a bit, you're probably at the point in the game where Nook Miles are only good for redeeming tickets. If you don't care about villager hunting or getting photos from all the anthropomorphic neighbors, then these tickets are probably pretty pointless to you. I would love to have more uses for Nook Miles. During the start of your adventure, Nook Miles are super useful. They're required for important upgrades like inventory expansions, the custom design editor, and hair, because different hairstyles are a super important upgrade, of course. If it wasn't for villager hunting and Nook Mile tickets, late game, there's nothing to really spend your hard-earned miles on. Besides just finishing the achievements that the game gives you, the rewards are kind of pointless. Thankfully, we want the cute villagers. 
I would love for Nintendo to add some new Nook model items. If the game's not in its final build, of course. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, like pocket expansions or more character customization options, though those would be cool too. I want some more recipes, or even just new items. Maybe nothing as crazy as the robot hero. Or maybe something as crazy as the robot hero. <laughs> it would give us an additional goal to work towards. Give one of the Gullivers a new item for us to look for, instead of rusted parts we get rusted spoons. Or another recipe as difficult to complete as the ironwood kitchenette. Yeah, the good old days of everyone running around looking for a cutting board recipe. Those are some fun times. Nook miles were such a sought after currency at the beginning. Now people only care about them for villager hunting. So I guess what I'm saying is don't change anything about villager hunting Nintendo. It's like the only thing we've got left. <laughs> I really do love the addition of the Nook Mile goals. They guide me in my dailies and help me change up my tasks so my days aren't bland and repetitive. I want more reasons to care about Nook Miles and get something other than thousands of islands full of villagers that I don't care about. What would you want to redeem your Nook Miles for? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!